Hello. Hello. Okay, so it works. Oh, for Photoshop. Let's see. Click on open. Go to that. Oh, where do you save the picture? I don't know. Where do I save the picture? Uh, let's see. I think it's over here. Okay, right here. Open it. Ah. Oh. It's gonna look something like this. Okay. But that's not done. Now, unlock the layer first. Then duplicate it. Control J. Or just right click duplicate layer. Like that. On Windows, simply click Control Shift U. On Mac, Command Shift U. To delete all the colors. Make it black and white. Like this. Ta da! Now, just uh, let's say. Okay. Blend it, click on this under the layer, you see normal, click on it, and then go find soft light. Click on it. Now it's gonna look like this. And you're not done yet, don't worry. For elements 8, go to enhance, adjust lighting, no, yeah, adjust lighting, shadow and highlight. Now you have this slider stuff going on. It's up to you. The first one is how bright your picture is. I want my picture to be darker, so I'll just leave it down here. My picture to be lighter, move it all up. To be in the middle, 50%. But darker. Darken highlight is basically darken all the dark. Just like darken some spots. Not really every part. Just yeah, darken some parts. I'm gonna move it. Dark. 100% because I want it to be dark and mid tone contrast. It's gonna look like this. If you want more HDR, move everything up to 100%. Uh, but I don't, I don't really like light pictures. So just like this. Okay. But it's actually up to you, no matter what you want. It's up to you. You can do anything you want. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. After you're done, um, for Windows, hold on Control Shift Alt and press E. For Mac, I think it's Command Alt Shift E. Same thing. Just change the control to Command Mac Window to merge visible, or you can just right-click merge visible. Now you're gonna have this. What you do is just click on the blending again and hit on Soft Light, like that. It's gonna look a bit darker. It's okay. Now. For elements eight, eh, no, no, no. For elements eight, yeah. Hit on filter, other, and high pass. Now your picture is gonna look a little bit like this, a little bit cooler. But it's not cool yet. So what we do, and usually this is as high as it can go, 250 pixel, and just click OK. Very simple for this this step. Sorry for my English. Now it's gonna look something like this. Now you're gonna merge visible again, holding Control Shift Alt, Command Shift Alt E. See another layer pops out. And now you're gonna do the sharpness. So for Elements 8, Enhance, Unsharp Mask. Or you have other plugins, you can use that as well. It's up to you. Now, yep, it's up to you. You can just move the slider. Usually I set it up like this amount, 500%, radio 0 0.6, and 414 4 trestle. Radius, usually I recommend setting it lower than 1. And, yep. And then trestle higher. Because what happens if I set it too low? It's gonna look like very sharp. Lots of noise. Set up higher, no noise. Too high, no sharpness. Now just click OK when you're done, the sharpness. Now I see there's some noise. We're gonna delete them. Control Shift Out E, Command Shift Out E again to merge visible. Click on filter. Noise. Produce noise. Now it's gonna look like this when you're done. It's up to you. Uh, I prefer this preserve details to be zero. Reduce noise color 100 percent And then use this change to strength. If you want it to be very Smooth, just go on to 10, 0, it's gonna have noise again, usually more than 5, just like that, looks 
smoother. Perfect. Now you see the sky is a bit... Yeah, like that. It's a bit blue. Bluish, bluish. Mm, yeah, you know what to do. I do not know why. Yep, okay. Other picture doesn't do this, but then there's still some blue parts. If you're good at Photoshop, you can do it. I suck at Photoshop. But yeah, here's the basic things about it. But after you're done, let's go on. Merge visible again. Yeah, delete this. Okay, yep. That's basically how you create HDR. If you want to blur out some parts, you can do just hit on blur change anything you want but then those are the main basic stuff you need to create an HDR movie first height first is controlling the lighting then high pass and then your sharpness and then noise those are just few things you need to do well that's all for Photoshop hope you like it <laughs>